The line, build it and they will come, has never rung quite so true. After a year of pandemic shutdowns, the fans are once again returning to the field of dreams. And come August 12th, a new field in Dyersville will see packed stadiums. Rob Steele has more. After a year off due to COVID, crowds are coming back to the Field of Dreams near Dyersville. On this day, families from far and wide brought their kids to the famous ball diamond for a little taste of the historical experience. The Chicago family is headed to Montana. The McGuire family comes from Frankfurt, Illinois. This large group of fans from Ottumwa. A father and son came over from Omaha. All here to experience some of the movie magic. It's relationships and easy and there's nothing techy it's it's peaceful and simple and I had tears in my eyes coming down the gravel because it does the movie resonates with so many people on so many different levels and I can only hope that the kids truly get the emotion and the feeling that we all got when we all watched it I mean it's something very special to be out here you want to have a catch and that is the line that makes me pretty much cry every time I'd like that and I could imagine better thing than bringing my son out to this park. Yeah, because we didn't get a chance to do that with our dads. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. So while the original field is bustling once again, only a few hundred yards away is the new Major League Baseball field getting ready for the Yankees and White Sox game August 12th. But Dyersville will be offering so much more, says Carla Thompson, executive director of the Dyersville Chamber of Commerce. So we're putting on the Beyond the Game Festival, which is a two-day festival, August 11th and the 12th in Dyersville, Iowa. So we invite everyone to come on down, even if you don't get an MLB ticket, because it's going to be such a tremendous experience just to be in the town that Major League Baseball is going to have their game. It's actually going to be in two different locations. It's going to be in our downtown area, our town square, and then also at Commercial Club Park. Something that's going to really set this off is the Experience Iowa Zone. So we're having businesses and organizations that represent Iowa in that tent to give away promotions or show what they do that represent Iowa. Iowa. 